Hey students, it's Mr. Connors, and here we are back again taking a look at our next tutorial video. This time we're going to be talking about the header, the menu, and how do you navigate through our, our blogs. Well, as you can see, your worksheet right there has a couple of different areas that have been highlighted. I've actually taken a screen capture of the main page for my blog and doctored it up a little bit so you'd have some space to go ahead and type some things in. So know that these three boxes over here, well, they don't have names. Well, at least you're going to have to provide the names. And they're referring to these areas right here. And these boxes over here refer to what is showing up over here. We'll talk a little bit about that. And this one down here, well, that refers to what you see over here. Are you ready to find out a little bit more about what's going on? All right, let's actually go take a look at the blog itself. Most blogs all have some similar structure to them. The area at the top of every page, which doesn't actually change, is usually the title of the blog. We call this the header. The header generally is formatted really nice, big and bold, so that everybody can read it and know exactly what the title of the blog is. Underneath the header you might have a subheader or a subtitle. In this case it's called a description and this is what I'm calling the description of my blog. It adds a little bit of information to the header up, up, up above. Right to the right over here you'll notice I have an image. And while that image looks like it's fairly small and over in the corner, it's actually large enough to stretch all the way over here too. Just the way I've created it, it's very transparent there. The image at the top of every page is usually called your banner. You have the ability to go ahead and choose what kind of banner you want to, well, make your header and the top of your website look very pretty or artistic or whatever you wish so that it adds to your blog. And below all this, I have a line of buttons or tabs, and this is actually called my menu. And I've set my menu to actually reflect the static pages I've created for this website. So if I were to click on Course Info, well, the header and the description and my banner, well, they all stay the same. But now you'll notice that my menu actually has a change in it so that it's reflecting what page I'm on. I'm no longer on my posts, so that's the space where chronological things happen all the time. That's home. Home gets me to my posts. But these wonderful things over there, those um, menu buttons, are because I've chosen to connect them to certain pages. And I'll show you where to go to get that in just a moment. Notice over here I actually have some other resources. Each of these little bubbles that you see is actually called a gadget. Sometimes we call them widgets, but Blogger calls them gadgets. And these gadgets are... are editable, they're movable, and I can choose which ones I want and which ones I don't want. I've chosen a search um, gadget. I'm going to ask you why do you think I did that. I also added the follow by email gadget. You can tell me about that one in our uh, document. And this bubble, or this gadget right here, is actually just a list of links that I created based on the tags for each of the posts. You could do that too if you wanted to. And finally, I've got some links to some external websites because I think, well, those would be useful for anybody who's coming to visit my website. So how does it get to look like this? Well, there's a very special place we have to go. I'm headed back to the um, layout tab of my blog. And you get here by, again, going to uh, the the overview and then scrolling down and getting to your layout. When you're there you'll actually be given an opportunity to edit your um, header. So this is the information that's in my header and there's the image I've got in my banner and I can choose how I want it placed. Here's the menu that I've created and actually I can call it what I want and I've grabbed my pages to make this banner. I can show the ones I want or not want. I can organize them here as much as I would like and I can actually go ahead and add more gadgets. And As you can see I've got a search this blog followed by email, the design cycle, MIP resources and you name it. To add a gadget, which you'll get into the next video, you just go ahead and click there. But what's nice about this is the fact that you have the ability to choose how you want that layout to be. If you want to change things you can do so by going to the template, going to customize, and then actually going to the layout button itself and choosing how you want the layout of your website to look. And in the end, you can apply those changes, go back and view your blog, and it'll look the way that you expected it to. All right? So, in our next session, we're actually supposed to be talking about one last set of things. I know the document up here says Blogger 
you know, header menu and navigation, which we just talked about. In reality, we're going to be talking specifically about these awesome gadgets. So, looking forward to talking to you next time. Don't forget to go ahead and fill out the information on this page, and I'll see you along the road. Aloha.